Greetings, fellow living organisms. I am the grey alien that Vaughn took a shot at, and I know I haven't been around too much of late, but there's three reasons for that. Firstly, I've been working away. A lot. And I will be for the foreseeable future. And the editing software I use is on my PC back at home. Secondly, I'll be trying to catch up on other things. Films, TV, books, fitness, etc. And thirdly, Vaughn's been kind of boring of late. Nothing much has happened. Yes, he went on the geek room for about 20 minutes and that went as well as you'd expect. And he's upset with J-Dubs because he didn't wake him up and send him a link to a stream. And now they're having a lover's tiff. But I found something fantastic and it's all thanks to Vaughn ruined his own life. Now, this is quite a long one, but trust me, it's worth it. There are some fantastic bits in this. There is a video out there, and I know Seculus played it on his channel, where Vaughn said he comes from another dimension. Well, this is another version of that, I think. He makes some fantastic claims in this, and especially near the end where somebody starts asking questions about it. Enjoy. Which wouldn't necessarily validate anybody turning around and being able to say that they felt that they were in a different parallel time frame or something, would it? It oh. would. It would. It would just be people saying that um, they have a different concept of what happened in the past from another. Or well, as or, opposed to like a different timeline or whatever, you'd have the idea that. Uh, you know, like the Berenstain Bears, uh, you know, is uh, real for them, but maybe not quite everyone else. Or is it Berenstain? Yeah. Well, that's what, that's what I've said from day one. Nobody's wrong, okay? What's happening in this timeline is not wrong, okay? Because it fits for this timeline, okay? But in my timeline and in my compatriots' timeline, it was not spelled A-I-N. It was spelled E-I-N because it was a, a Jewish name. Okay? Uh, A-I-N, as far as I know, is not a Jewish name. Now, supposedly in this timeline, A-I-N can be a Jewish name, but that isn't what it was spelled. Okay? And there's even residual information to suggest that it was E-I-N, such as TV guides, um, Second -hand, second hand books and movies that discuss the matter, they spell it E I N instead of A I N. Okay, well, so I mean, uh, it's interesting though, Von. Von. It's, in, it's really interesting because I, I remember reading a um, uh, an interview by the son of the Berenstain parents who made up the Berenstain Bears, um, and he was talking about um, how his um, his teacher had refused to actually accept his name and changed his name um, and I, I can I can sort of understand it. I mean it's very clearly it is meant to be Berenstain Bears and always was Berenstain Bears but that does not mean that there weren't some publications where a, a publisher decided oh that must be a mistake and they got it wrong and they actually published it as Berenstain so you might be right that there are some things that are Berenstein, but it's always, always meant to have been Berenstein. Yes. And most, and the majority of all of the publications are Berenstein. The alternative, yes, of course, the alternative, of course, is that somebody was producing uh, a knockoff, uh, and it ended up with you, and possibly got quite popular uh, and that was under the name Berenstein. So I mean there's lots of different options. You don't have to claim that it was a different timeline. The usual way of transliterating Berenstein uh, it would be like the S-H-T-E-Y-N um, but it's obviously they're you know like the Ellis Island uh, not literate in every language, uh, I guess, immigration officers who will misspell things and so on. Yeah, so yeah the, there was the stuff about the immigration officers who couldn't work out how to, how to do the right name, and so it was the immigration officer that actually wrote Berenstain. So in this, um, in this universe that you come from then, Bon, did old MacDonald go A I A I O and not E I E I O? <laughs> no, 
Not everything has changed, just certain things. Oh, thank God. Yes. Humpty Dumpty still had a great fall. Oh, Are you yeah. sure? Yeah, pretty sure. Uh, gee, I re gee, I reckon it was Ronald McDonald that was going A I A I O. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wah, wah, wah. Donald McDonald in the other universe. It's like fringe, except not entertaining. <clears throat> Donald McDonald? Donald McDonald. I don't think I've uh, heard that one floated yet, but I guess there's a first for everything. Old McDonald got a factory farm, and that's where all the food you eat comes from. What is that? Oh, nothing. Poor attempt at a joke. Did old McDonald do something to the horse's ass? Oh, stop it. What? He was a weird guy. So, in the meantime, like, yeah. Uh, sort of anti realist affair, I guess. Well, it's kind of an alternative way of thinking of um, your ideas. There was, I mean, it really was, <clears throat> say, Berenstein in the past instead of Berenstein. Well, see, to my ears and to the ears of my compatriots, Berenstein doesn't even make any fucking sense. It's like the stain on a carpet. You know, it doesn't even make any damn sense to us. What's a name? Yeah, that's what it is. That, that's the point. Names names are spelt differently in places. Well, like I said, nobody is claiming that this particular timeline is wrong and that we're right. What we're saying is, is that in our timeline it was spelled E-I-N and your timeline is spelled A-I-N. We're not saying anybody's wrong. We're just saying that, you know, it's obvious that you know, based upon just, you know, and, and it's not just Berenstain Bears either, okay? There's other shit going on too, okay? It's a lot and lot of lots of things that we've noticed that is different in this reality than in our reality or Earth or alternate universe or whatever the fuck you want to call it. We still don't fully understand. However, we do have a very nice picture of one of the people working at CERN that has a Nelson Mandela placard on his chest okay and allegedly before all this Mandela effect shit took place so you know thereby implicating the fact that they knew what the fuck they were doing before they did it uh, which so no, is induced the Mandela effect interesting well yeah they've got a quantum computer attached to CERN hmm. and they literally dialed in what they wanted to dial in and this is the result Time travel. So as a result, no, no, oh, we actually no, have no, someone on from South Africa. That's oh. no, not time travel. Don't don't get it confused. It's All right, not let's, not get, let's not get crazy here, okay? It's not time travel. Well, I mean, it, it sounds very much like time travel. If you're no. saying that you jumped from one one uh, plane of time into another one, you you so, no. you you no. traveled no. in time. In some no, way. there was you a merging. Traveled, at you traveled across a parallel friend, um, time frame. Here is what you're claiming, and you're currently in the wrong one. You know, um, our friend uh, Concussed Albatross is actually from South Africa. But which South Africa? Yeah, Concussed <laughs> Albatross. A country called South Africa in this well, timeline. Let's, 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 in, in which timeline? We we can find out real quick. We can find it real quick. Albatross. Did Nelson Mandela die in prison? No, he did not. He did not. Okay, you're from this timeline. Okay, he's clear. So, it's been cleared. Yeah, so yeah, it's been you, 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 you've come to this reality. You're not searching for someone called Sarah Connor, are you? <laughs> I <laughs> wish. No, no, he's I looking, wish I was searching for Sarah Connor. That no, would be us. Awesome. Vaughn. Vaughn is looking for a flux capacitor, okay? That's what, that's what he's looking for. A flux capacitor and a DeLorean. I want your car, your boots, your internet connection. What, what, what about if you, you just traveled, him, what, what if you just traveled to Switzerland and went to the CERN, uh, the CERN 
whatever it hadron collider or whatever it is and try try to get yourself your collided and your Reese's pieces. Mm. Well, the problem with that is that if I was to try to go back now, who's to say I would go back to my reality? I might end up going to yet another reality. Oh, that's even more fucked up than this one is. Hoo-wee. Yeah, see? So it's not... I, I'm ba- you're, you're stuck with me. You're basically stuck with me. Whether you like it or not, and whether I like it or not. Because if I was... Let's say, let's say I was somehow to get to CERN, and to turn the fucker on, and to put it at whatever settings it needed to be, there's no guarantee I'd go back to my, my particular reality. There's absolutely none. So I would probably end up fucking myself up even worse than where I'm at now. At least That's here, funny. there is some semblance of reality as to what I can remember, you know. So, I mean, it's, so you not, it's not totally fucked up, okay? It's not so, like... So you couldn't, oh, real, real quick, you couldn't, uh, you, you couldn't just dial in the right, uh, the right coordinates uh, no, to no, the accurate timeline and get back there. There's no... Uh, this is not Hollywood. This, this is not Hollywood, okay? That's Hollywood. Well, come on, like, don't get crazy here. This is not Hollywood. Yeah, right? yeah, okay, yeah. Well, the point is, the po- okay, let let's say let's say uh, let's say I go to CERN, I dial the fucker in, and I end up in a reality where Adolf Hitler won World War II. Okay, oh. that would be really fucked up, wouldn't you agree? Okay, so no, I don't want to do that. That's a bad thing. So I'm going to stick where I'm at until, you know, and and you never know. Maybe once this convergence or whatever the fuck is going on, maybe it's got a certain limit. Maybe it's got a timeline, time limit, and and everything will go back to normal. I'll go back to my reality, and you'll get the wimpy Von Hilton back, and everything will be just ducky, you know? I mean, I don't so know. What was, what was the wimpy Von Hilton like? I don't know. Was he I, interesting? I'm, I'm assuming he's my polar opposite. Physically I, unintimidating, spends a lot of time making threats on the Internet. No. No, he's um, probably... Probably Denver opened up his fucking mouth to defend himself not once. Knowing him. Uh, will, we, will, we have, uh, will we have more weed and candy? Yeah, but what? More, more weed and candy. And you also got... Uh, and you also got uh, the Flat Earthers. So, congratulations. There wasn't one single Flat Earther in my timeline. Not one. How could you possibly know? Because I was there. No, I had no flat earthers in my timeline. I did not. No. There wasn't even one video on YouTube about flat earth in my timeline. Not one. Oh, Until I come here. You just claimed, you, just claimed so you did not know what your, your timeline was like. And you didn't I did know. know. You I know like. there were no flat earthers. But you guys uh, got a shit ton of them. Okay. Okay. So you have an oddly specific memory of multiple of uh, parallel timelines. Yes. Yes. You remember some things, but you haven't got a clue what you were like yourself, because that's what you just said earlier. I'm not going to know who my counterpart in this timeline is. You're right. Uh, there's no way I can know that. There's no way I can know that. But you can have some memories of other things that. No, that count, I remember. That, okay, that no, no. What I remember. What I remember is before coming here. Okay. And before I came here, there was no Flat Earthers. There was no uh, videos on YouTube about Flat Earth. Flat Earth wasn't even being discussed at all. Zero. Nada. When did I come, you come here, here? I come here, and Flat Earth is huge. It's all over YouTube. It's all over Daily Motion, Live Leak. It's all over the Internet, period. When did you, when did you come here? Best I can determine sometime early in 2016. But I'm not sure. So you, so you came and I can't, so I I can't you, sit there and and pin down a specific date. No. Well, there's videos of you predating that. That must be your cat so, part then. So so basically you yeah. came. You arrived in this time a few months ago, basically like in early. I replaced I replaced your von Helton, which I'm assuming would be an opposite of me. I am very extroverted. He therefore would be introverted. <laughs> Okay. I'm a so, so if you wanted to know what you used to be like, you'd just look at your old Von Helton YouTube videos. You? <laughs> no. That wouldn't be really that difficult, would it? No. But no. you got oh. a bit, um, I can't cope. <laughs> it's not, not that easy. It's not that e- you're, you're trying to make this simple, and it's not. It's a lot okay. more complex than that. Okay, I got, I got a question. For example, for example, okay, 
when a comet streaks through space, all right, it drags debris with it, all right. In the same in the same vein, when I came into this reality, I brought residual information, residual stuff with me from my timeline. Okay, such as my old videos, such as um, you know some of the stuff that I did or said in the past. Okay, I brought some of that with me, not all, but some. Okay, and so. When I go when I go to see my old YouTube videos, I'm not seeing my other self. I'm seeing myself. If that makes sense. No. So everything that you everything that you perceive everything that you perceive that is wrong with this timeline could just be the right timeline, but someone else brought in came into this timeline and brought that with them, just like you just said. So you could actually be in the right timeline. It's just everything that you perceive to be wrong has been well. There's coming into the timeline theme. and bringing that. There is a there is a theory similar to that, and the theory is this: uh -huh. the theory is that nothing has changed, but our minds are perceiving it to have changed. Wow, now, that sounds outlandish. Now, admittedly, that would take a hell of a lot of power to do something like that, but okay. I don't know. No, no idea. That, is, that is one of the theories that are that's being floated out there is that nothing's actually actually changed. What it is is that somebody's mind fucking with us and and has messed everything up. It would take an incredible amount of power. I mean, according to my according to my preliminary mind is fucked up here. According to my preliminary um, estimation calculations, um, in order to do that, it take roughly the power of six or seven of our suns. Well, I don't know about that. I have a question. Well, could it, well, I, I got could the it, math, but I mean. Could it be that one or more of us are traveling at the speed of light or near it, and the inertial reference frame of our timeline is moving at a different speed than others? Well, yeah, that's a possibility. I mean, that was that was discussed in multiverse. But I mean, you know, I don't, I don't know. I like I said, I don't claim to know what the hell's going on. I don't claim to be able to explain it. If I could explain it, I'd probably be able to figure out how to fix it, right? You know, but I can't explain it. So if I can't explain it, I can't very well fix it. Well, surely, but, if you've come here and you've seen that there's lots of flat Earthers, surely by your logic, that must mean that the Earth is flat. Not necessarily. I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, I'm I'm still on the fence about a lot of that, but mm -hmm. uh, but but what's interesting is is that yeah I got here and it's like what's all this shit about flat Earth what the fuck are they talking about? I didn't oh, even know what they, I didn't even know what they were talking about I didn't I didn't yeah, yeah those, those flat Earthers those flat Earthers man they they're they're fucked up in the head you know time travel that in is my, that, in, that, that's, like I said that's totally in my reality in my timeline in my whatever the fuck you want to call it. There was no discussion of flat Earth at all. There was no YouTube videos about. Whoa, shit! There was no videos about it. There was no discussion about it. There was nobody. It wasn't even on anybody's fucking radar at all. Juan, no. Let me make a suggestion real quick. For, yeah. From now on, for all of your videos, you should preface it by saying Mandela, you know, died or did not die in prison, and mm. that way, when we look back, we'll know if it's the real you or the other you. You know. So like mm. ten years from now, you can go look at that YouTube video, and you'll know that this was the real you, and not the other you from the other timeline. Yeah, but how do we know that the video won't be altered to conform to this timeline? Oh fuck, you're right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, See, that's the problem. That's the problem with the whole damn fuck. thing. Fuck, fuck. Ultimately, huh? Vaughn, you're if right. You, if you were Vaughn, if you were to go back to your old timeline. Yet you have no memory of your old timeline. How would you know whether you were in your old timeline? Oh because shit! What if this up? is his right timeline? Uh, what if this is his timeline? No, it ain't my timeline. This is my other me's timeline. Yeah, but how would you know whether you were in a wrong timeline? I know I'm in the wrong timeline because of all the flat earthers, dude. There was no flat earthers uh, in my timeline. I've already explained really? this. Well, how how would you know how would you know whether having moved to a new timeline that you were in, um, and you and the one that you were meant to be in. Well, that I don't know. There's no I mean, way. So That's you could I never, thought. you could never ever, you could keep this going until your dying day, claiming that you are in the wrong timeline, without having any justification at all of any of it. 
there's no way to prove yes or no. There's how are you going I mean, to prove it? Okay, how about how about this? How about this. I mean, you do know that some flat earthers they they do troll, right? Like you like you do know like they do well, that I'm shit. Sure for, some. Yeah, a whole lot, like a number of them do, do do say they believe in a flat earth for chits and giggles. We do know some of them exist. So yeah, but like what if they're just from the other timeline, though? Well, do you ever think of that? Oh shit! Yeah. Fucking idiot. Oh damn! Oh, I die. Yeah, I, I just never thought of that variable. <laughs> maybe, maybe there were yeah. triangle earthers in the old timeline. But he didn't see any of those videos either, did you, Mon? No. See, no. that's just ridiculous, heretic. Come on. Oh, I'm sorry. Be... Sorry, I'm I might I might have missed it, but how do you control any passage between one timeline or the other? Do you need a particle accelerator for that? Yes. As far as we know, I that's have one no way idea. to do it. I have no idea how the, well, I, well I, I suspect that it was CERN that did it. But do I know for sure? No, not really. But I suspect it was. I mean, they do have a quantum computer attached to the damn thing that supposedly has advanced artificial AI in it. So, you know, and this is by CERN's admission, by the way. This isn't something I'm making up. Yeah, but why would that mean they can travel through time, uh, travel through the dimensions? I mean, you just go quantum computer and advanced AI, as if that justifies the uh, the possibility that people can travel from one dimension to another. Well, it's all speculative, but I mean, I got here somehow, didn't I? So I mean, you know, you got to go with what you got, what's available. You know, and and we know, and like I said, we've got an employee at CERN. With a with two signs on his chest, one says Bond one, the other says Mandela. Okay, well the first James Bond was Barry Nelson. Okay, so Nelson Mandela. All right. Oh, what the Does fuck? he have to so spell it out Nelson, for you? He's got Nelson Mandela on his chest before all this Mandela effect shit happened. So did he know in advance what they were going to do? Yes. Yes. So well, I, I I don't get why Nelson Mandela is the crux of this. But what does that what does that mean? I really don't know. I didn't think it was all that big of a fucking deal. I mean, he died in prison. That was that was the end of it. I didn't really give it a second thought. Neither did anybody else. In fact, most of us were pretty fucking annoyed actually because it took up most of the news media's time uh, showing his funeral all fucking day. When they could have been talking about other shit, but you know. So the reality is District Nine is what you're saying, in effect. I don't know. Is it? All this shit happened in South Africa. Then a load of aliens came down and and persuaded us all by some kind of gloopy um, psycho stuff that actually none of that had happened. They took us back in time, and we're all in a different timeline now. Is what you're saying? Hold on, I think I think I I got this. I'm, lo I'm looking up the stuff that he's saying. Bomba clot, road boy like a crazy man. I'm like talking about Mandela dying and shit. Yeah, he died in prison, dude. He did. He died in prison. The fucking funeral was all over TV. Okay, Fiona Broom uh, saying she and other people who remember Mandela dying in the 1980s rather than 2013 argues that common memories which appear mistaken could be explained by existence of parallel universes that are able to interact with each other. A common thread of discussion regarding this effect is remembering the Berenstein Bears with a different spelling. Lovely. Yeah, okay. Hey, Yvonne, you never answered my question. Did the 75 Springboks land on the moon in your timeline? Did do what? Did the 1975 Springbok team land on the moon? Yeah, we still had a fake moon landing, yeah. I think, I think extra strong stuff like that doesn't get changed. I could be wrong on that, though. But I think something. I I think well, well, you know what? I take that back because the JFK has a Mandela effect to it. So, and that was pretty fucking strong. So, I take that back. Um, but that was know. that was before CERN, wasn't it? CERN wasn't even around in that. Well, now here's the funny thing. Your CERN in your timeline 
goes all the way back to the 50s. Where You're going robotic, by the way. This is fucking outside. This is the X-Files. You had, you had predecessors to CERN going all the way back to the 50s. Google it. Okay? Your CERN-type activity was more prevalent in this reality than it was in my reality. In my reality, none of this shit really got going until the 80s. But in your reality, there were actually predecessors to CERN as far back as the 50s, where it was, it was formulated, discussed, what have you. Okay? So the fact that your CERN and your reality had more success is why the rest of us are drawn here to this timeline is because yours had more success than the ones in mine because my shit didn't get started until like the 80s or something okay but your 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 activity your research your study goes all the way back to the 50s in this timeline in my timeline it didn't but in your timeline it does and that's why everyone's being drawn here as opposed to going to my timeline which I wish to God you were going to my time. Did Germany win the Second World War? Yes. No. No, Germany did not win the Second World War. In either timeline. However, however, is there a timeline out there where they did? Yeah, probably is. But it's not this one or, or mine. To be honest, your timeline sounds like it would be more technolo technologically advanced. Because if CERN was capable of building a Hadron Collider fucking 40 years ago, and we're just doing it now, Think of all the other shit they could have had. And they got AI and quantum computers in well, the fucking like, 60s or whenever. Well, like, like, I said, shit. like I said, if you if you Google it, you will find that there were predecessors to CERN and there was discussion and investigation and research going all the way back to the fifties. In this we didn't have computers and we didn't have computers. Using AI in the fucking fifties. Well, no. So Twitter, Twitter and Facebook. Right. I didn't say that. God, quit putting no, words. No, but that's what you're saying. You're saying no, in, in your time. No, but that's how you got here. I said. I said you had research oh, that okay. goes all the way back to the fifties. Listen hey, to what I say. Damn hey, it! You, you gotta that. listen to what I say. All right, calm down. You said that you got transported here because of CERN, and they had a quantum AI. Right. Um, but that, right, so they've got, but they've got better technology than us. But that what doesn't mean that the shit. research that was done back in the 50s had a computer with AI. But you got set, when did the, oh, fuck knows, I've lost the plot. You've lost the plot because you're putting words in my mouth that I didn't say. Uh, I'm listening. I said the research, I said the research goes back to the 50s. You said, uh, you said the, the CERN employee had a mandala on his... Yes. Jacket, and in my timeline, that mandala grew out of the Hindu tradition, which dates back five thousand years. He had so. Nel No, he had. He didn't have a charm or a bracelet or anything. He had Nelson Mandela, two two ta two uh, um, pieces of cardboard around his neck, and the first cardboard said Bond One, which is Barry Nelson. Okay, so there's the Nelson. Then the second cardboard had Mandela wrote on it. So you put the two together, Nelson Mandela. Okay, so he knew, they knew, the CERN people knew in advance that they were going to fuck up our timelines. Because your timeline's fucked up too, trust me. I don't know how yet, but I'm sure it is. All right, I'm sure there's something wonky with your timeline too, just like, just like there was with mine. But the so point is, is that they knew in advance. Gone? They oh, knew in advance. They knew what they were doing. They when, deliberately when and intentionally thing? destroyed our timelines, messed up our timelines. When now, why? When I don't know. Was it? I don't when, know. I don't know. Was, no, I don't when, know. When was this picture taken oh, the video? of the guy of the guy with Bond One and Mandela badges? It was um I believe well, I'll just give you a link to my video. Hang on, let me just give you a link to my video. I don't want a link. I just want to know what year. Well, I don't remember. That's why I said I'll give you a link to my video, because my video's got all that information. Are we talking the last five years? Sooner than that, I think. Hang on. Yeah, but your videos might not be the correct timeline, so I wouldn't think those. Yeah, but I mean. Yes, it is, because it just made the damn thing. A bit sooner than that. Are, are we talking 2013 by any chance? Well, maybe. Hang on. All right. You mean the year that Mandela died? Let me get my video. Which might mean, which might mean, and give a good reason why somebody might be wearing a badge that says Mandela. 
Oscar and Nelson Mandela had done not approve of this timeline. A lot of people used to wear badges professing. It's not a badge. It's not a badge. It's not a badge. You said it, you said he was wearing two badges. One was Bond one, and one was Mandela. Yeah, but it's not a badge. It's something he did to to rub it in your face. It was done to rub it in your face that they knew what they were going to do before they did it. <laughs> well, hold on, hold on, hold on. A lot but of if, if they knew what they were going to do before people. they did it, why can't they just send you back? They must know how to have brought yeah, you so here. They're not. Why, they have no intentions of correcting what they did. They have no intentions of it. This is all being done deliberately and intentionally. Or, 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 maybe they can't fix it. Maybe they realize they fucked it up and can't fix it. I don't know. Or, or maybe they can fix it, but you're just so dangerous to take back because oh, you God. knew everything, oh, you see. Oh, yeah. You, you, were, you were the top guy. Oh, and if they send you back, that's it. It's the end there of the timeline. There are millions of people just like me. You would screw Maybe it up. go up. back to the right timeline. But well, I wouldn't say millions. I wouldn't oh, say it's millions. millions. Oh, yeah, it's millions. It's millions. Oh, yeah. Well, how, would you, how can you possibly know how that? How can I possibly know that? Because JFK went over the whole world. Um, the Nelson Mandela thing was a worldwide event, too. Okay, so, yeah, it's millions of people. Well, yeah, that's just an assertion. Uh, I mean, millions. Seriously, come on. Back into the side. Anyway, there's the side. my link. Well, one of these ways is my link so, in the chat. Right, we've got we've got a claim that can't be proven and can't be disproven. Does this remind anyone of anything else? Yeah, sort of like um, God or ghosts or the supernatural or some paranormal bullshit. Well, now, that's not necessarily true, because we do have CERN admitting on their own website that they wanted to explore time travel, that they wanted to explore the Big Bang, that they wanted to explore the abyss, that they wanted to explore portals. We hey, also what? have them admit. We yeah. also have. We also What's have this? them admitting. We also have them admitting that they have a quantum computer with advanced AI attached to it. Well, and, we even got, and we even have a video, and we even have a video of the guy that made the damn thing talking about how he's going to give it to CERN and let them utilize it to do their mathematical formulae. Okay, um, so we do have some information. Okay? So what's the abyss? What's the abyss? What, what do you mean by the abyss? You don't know what the abyss is, seriously? No. Seriously. What is you really it? do yeah, not I'm know. Not with that oh term. my! Oh my God! Really? The plot thickens. Yeah, it's, no, it's, it remains the same. Why don't you just tell us what it is? Uh, you really don't know what the abyss is, dude. You yes. have like this. Yes. 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 I thought no, 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 no. I realize that y'all are atheists. I realize that, <laughs> but even an atheist should know what the, the abyss is. Well, just yeah, we don't us. know what the abyss is. What, what, what is it? Fuck is an a what the fuck does atheism have to do with the abyss? Why don't you just tell us what the fuck it is? Uh, to, to be clear, Vaughn, in case there was any uh, ambiguity, we do not know what the abyss is. Hang on. Yeah. yeah, I'm I'm just looking at a couple of uh, a few I'll of the achievements. The Mandela effect is just fucking loopy. It's Oh, hey, Bob's back. Let's have it a ain't loopy if, it ain't loopy. It's not loopy if you're from another reality like I am. Then it ain't loopy at all. Before we delve too much into that, think, you're you're think, about you think, think about this. Is. Think about this, all right? I've been ripped from everything I know and believe. I've been sure. ripped out of everything I know and believe and thrust into a reality that makes absolutely no fucking sense to me whatsoever. So... If you if you even Where? thought if you even thought for one second that this is some kind of joke to me that I think this is this is funny you're in for rude awakening because I don't think this is a damn bit funny. Uh, uh, okay. Because because because, be, because you think that because you think that Mandela died in prison and you think that Mandela died in prison and there's some discrepancy in what you remember about the Bernstein Bears. Therefore, you. Mandela you can't make sense is the of this least reality. Of it. You, Mandela is the least of it. Okay, you got families that have been ripped apart because of this shit. Okay. okay. 
You, you got any there, was, uh, there was a guy. There was a guy that done a YouTube video. He had six. He remembers in his timeline having six kids. In this timeline, he only has three. He only has three. Now, by the same token, there's a woman who's on video discussing it with her husband, even where she went to her mom's house, and come to find out the wo there was a woman there when she got there. Come to find out that woman was her adopted sister that she didn't even know she had. Okay, so this is affecting families. This is affecting people's lives. All right, this is not funny. Not a bit funny. Uh, yeah, okay. Ron, Ron, question. Uh, I'll address this in the side chat. Uh, did, did you find any evidence for that abyss thing? Or, like, what, I was going to Google that? the definition because I know none of you are able to figure it out. So. Hey, you're the one who yeah, said that's it. That's all we ask you, and you have to resort to Google. <clears throat> well, the thing of it is, aside from the movie, you ought to know what the abyss is. Yeah, that's why we asked you to get the evidence for it, and we're asking well, for I guess I'm gonna have to, it. I guess I'm going to have to get you the, uh, the answer because you guys don't know. That's, oh, that's right. what I've been asking for. Thank you. Yeah, no shit. Oh, like, what the hell were you doing for the last 15 minutes? Jerking around? Come on. No, I had to take care of my kids and do something for my kids, okay? Um, where the fuck is it here? Okay, there's... Wow, holy shit. I had no idea there was this many fucking definitions of the abyss. Good God. Uh, hmm. there's, a, there's a YouTube video of it. It's about 50 minutes long, and it's called CERN, The Opening of the Abyss. Wow, there's like... there's like Yeah, I started different. watching that, and then I stopped watching it. There's like 50 different definitions of what the abyss is. Holy shit, I had no idea. Which you have yeah, no idea. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? about? Maybe that's well, 50, I didn't realize it was this, I didn't realize there was this many of definitions for abyss, okay? Well what's your definition? My definition of the abyss is outer darkness. It's where demons and monsters reside. That's the abyss. So it's a bit like monsters. monsters. <laughs> what the so fuck? so the imagination? No, not what the, the fuck. Yeah, see, at first I thought you might be referring to the abyssal plane, which would actually make, you know, a modicum of fucking sense, but never mind. No, the abyssal plane is a flat area on the ocean floor. And this has nothing to yeah, do with no, the fucking ocean. Sense. This has nothing to do with the ocean, okay? It has nothing to do with the ocean. Okay. I'm, I'm going to hit my draw now. I'm going to hit the weed. Okay, okay. I finally found the definition that applies to what I'm referring to. All right. In religion... The abyss is a bottomless pit or a chasm that may lead to the underworld or to hell. In the Septuagint, I guess I'm pronouncing that right, Sep, Sep, Septuagint, whatever, uh, Greek version of the Hebrew Bible, uh, the word represents both the original unfinished creation, Genesis 1-2, and the Hebrew theom, a surging water deep, which is also used in apocalyptic and Kabbalistic literature and in the New Testament for hell, the place of punishment. In the revised version of the Bible, abyss is generally used for this area, primarily in the subjugant cosmography. Co cosmography? Uh, anyway, uh, the word is... The, the cosmography, yeah. The word is applied both to the waters under the earth, which originally covered it, and from which the springs and rivers are supplied, and to the waters of the firmament, which were regarded as closely connected with those below. In the parable of the rich man and Lazarus, there is an abyss between the righteous dead and the wicked dead in Sheol. Okay, in the book okay. of I, I think we get it. Um, a follow-up question. What, the, what does any of this got to do with CERN and time travel and all this other stuff with the Mandela effect? What, CERN, said they wanted, CERN said they wanted to open the abyss. It's on their website, or it was. I don't know if it still is, but it was. There was the, the, I'm not telling anything that isn't on CERN's own website, guys. CERN, CERN, CERN is bragging about how they're going to do this. They're going to so open CERN, the abyss. So CERN wants to create a portal to hell. CERN literally wants to create a portal to hell. Yes, they literally want to create a portal to hell. Yes. They you already said that you, you looked up the abyss and said, wow, there are so many definitions for it. What makes you think that CERN is using the same definition that you are? Because they made it abundantly clear that it was a portal that they wanted to open. They want to open portals. They want to go to other dimensions. They want to investigate 
uh, string theory. They want to investigate wormholes. They want to investigate the beginning of the Big Bang. They want to investigate all that shit. It's all on their own website. You can go read it for yourself. So I don't if I go to science, that's called get, science. So if I yeah, go to well, science, don't you think? Don't you think that there's consequences by doing that shit? <laughs> I don't think they're going to be opening a portal to hell. <laughs> I, I need I need more weed for this shit. There there is you do well. You they, definitely they do. They can had, you send me some? It's well, you can make fun of it all you want, but the truth of the matter is, is that they said they were going to do it. So see the problem with your definition of the abyss there. The problem with your definition of the abyss there, Bon, is it it's part of um it's part of the flat Earth sort of uh has nothing to do with uh, flat Earth stuff. at all. Well, you you're talking about the the waters the waters underneath the earth and, and digging digging earth. down to it, which, we, which talked to the, we talked about the abyss in my timeline all the time. The abyss, all an abyss. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But that's because it's in the bloody I just Bible. Read to you, I just read to you. Holy shit! I just read to you what yeah. the abyss was. Uh, okay, okay. It's a separation. It's a chasm. It's a chasm. It's a chasm. Between what's good and what's evil, and then you have to see the middle of the abyss. You see a chasm. God damn! I just okay. read it. Okay. <laughs> Fine. No one's chasm. denying that you haven't read it. Are you guys really it. that thick? No one is denying really that you haven't that read it. <laughs> one is denying that you haven't read it. You've read it, but the problem is you're reading it with conspiracy glasses. That's the problem. Oh God. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, like, where do you get the idea that when they, what they mean by abyss is like a portal where demons and every and little Nicky and all those other motherfuckers live? I mean, like, where, where do you get that from? Did they say that they're gonna they want to go to a portal with demons and shit? I'm not. I don't think they mentioned the word demons, but they did say they wanted to open the abyss. And they clearly, okay. they clearly intimated that it was a portal. So yeah. Okay, because that's what you said. That, that's what you said. I mean, you mentioned you mentioned Lazarus and the rich and the rich man, the wicked dead and the living and the righteous dead and all that shit and uh, hell and all that stuff. I mean, and you're you're trying to put this on CERN. I mean, and if they didn't say anything about going to a portal with demons and all that stuff, then uh, it, I think it's safe to assume that they probably didn't mean that, don't you think? Yeah, I'm not sure CERN is really in the business of trying to explore hell. I think that would be best left to some other departments. Wait yeah. a minute. Wait a minute. You, you, are you seriously telling me that a bunch of fucking atheists don't want to prove the Bible wrong? Really? What are you fuck? really going to go you... there? Because if you are, I'm going to fucking laugh at you. I'm going to explore. No, the reason they're doing this, the, the reason they're doing this, if I can get the answer out, if I can get the answer out, the reason they're doing this is because they want to disprove the Bible, and you fucking know it. You fucking know it. You fucking know that's what they want to do. They want to disprove the Bible. Okay, okay, crazy guy, calm down. The problem with that is, is that the abyss predates the Bible by hundreds of thousands of years. Ron, chill the fuck out for five seconds. We're hard way, aren't we, guys? Yes, we are. Okay, calm the fuck down. Calm the fuck down. Being the only Satanist in the room, I, I view it as like a metaphor for skepticism and free thought and shit. And with and the whole thing with science, science isn't interested in looking up, up the supernatural. Okay, I mean, for the last four hundred fucking years, they they've been actually focusing on like scientific laws and shit, and they've been finding for every explanation that we have, the answer's been a natural scientific testable one. Okay, all the supernatural shit's going out the window. I mean, that doesn't mean they that they know supernatural is bullshit. I mean, James Rand I had a million dollars for anyone who could prove that supernatural shit, and they haven't won it yet. So they're pretty much focusing on what works, you know, actually what they can measure and see. So they're not interested in demons or any of that other shit. So they're not interested in proving the Bible wrong. That's not that that's not relevant to science. It's all about which we could actually see and measure. So all this fucking shit about demons and other things and all that stuff, that's relevant to a person who actually buys that shit and actually is willing to prove it themselves, people who already buy that shit. For scientists, that's not their thing. So that's why I'm looking at this shit skeptical, and that's why everyone in the room are looking at you go. They're looking at you go, what the fuck? Because scientists aren't interested in any of this shit. Okay, this is this is not scientific at all. That's the point. They're not interested yeah, in just. I, I just want to. I'm, I'm just curious, yeah, like how exactly does building the LHC accomplish the goal of exploring hell? 
That's why they just rub the Mandela effect in our face, getting up there, making a fucking placard and putting it around their neck so that they could throw it up in our fucking faces. But yeah, they're not out to prove the Bible wrong. No, 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 sir. No, it can't be that. Come on, give me a break, dude. How, how does smashing break. subatomic particles together uh, help you explore hell? That doesn't make sense to me. It's so obvious. <laughs> I'll tell you, why don't you go to their website and read it for yourself? How about so if that? We go, if we go to CERN.com, will it say, um, we, we are opening portals to hell? Please email us if you have any inquiries. They said they, they, said they wanted to open up a portal to the abyss. That's all I know. So that's on their I, website. Go argue, go argue. Go argue with them, okay? Go argue well, with this them. Well, this was your claim. You said that that's on their website. I don't care. I'm not the one. No, wait a minute. That's where you're wrong. All I'm doing is reporting what they said they were going to do. I'm okay. not. But, I but Vaughn, but Vaughn, I on, did Vaughn. not open a portal hold to hell. Hold on, Vaughn. They were saying they're going to open Vaughn. a portal to hell. Vaughn, you said that there are many, many, many descriptions of definitions of what the abyss means. How do you know that when they were using the term the abyss, they were using it in the definition that you're claiming that you wanted it to be it's used? It's called context. It's called context. You're, you're putting it into the context that you want to hear it no, in I'm and not. therefore having an interpretation. No, when you say you want to open the abyss, that's not... A, an ocean floor, is it? Well, hold hold open. on. What what, minute, what does no, CERN no. try to do? What does the Hadron Collider try you to do? You can't open the ocean floor. Okay, look, so that they, rules out the ocean floor. <laughs> look, now, you can't they, open an ocean floor. Okay, you can't. You opening, can't open the ocean floor. So it's not the ocean floor they're talking about. So it's something that you got to open. Okay, because they're well, going to open, open the ocean floor. Right? We do it all so the time. It's called drilling. Okay, it's not a book. Even though you can't open a book, I, I see no relevance of why they would want to open a Please book. Don't so it's not a book, and it's not the ocean floor, okay? So the only few things left would be things that are inconsequential or don't make any sense, or the opening of the abyss, meaning the the uh, the outer darkness, the the pit, the place where demons and, and monsters dwell. Or, or, or von Helton, it means that they are stretching science to such boundaries in their attempts to find things like dark matter, dark energy, stuff that's in space, these ideas of these little neutrinos that pop into existence and pop out of existence in various places all at the same time uh, when there is nothing else there that causes it. They are finding these things. They are finding whatever the name of that um, a thing was that was proposed. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. Well, what's that, the latest that they thing were able to get? Higgs boson. What's, Higgs what's boson. the latest? What's the Higgs boson. Yes, article. Yeah. Article. They, they of then, absolute they then were able. Yes, they were then able to prove that the particle did exist. Yes, by a particle of things. absolute That's what they may mean by they are opening the abyss. They are heading further and further and further. They are stretching science. They are going That's further than anybody else. Well, I mean, it is a context. It is definitely a context. That's not the connotation. A realist I, anyone, anyone, I mean, I mean I, there's, 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 even, there's even some atheists out there that are going, hey, wait a minute, what the fuck are these guys doing? Okay, no, fuck no. You just yeah, made the biggest... Website. I don't see anything there about opening portals to hell. Huh. You, you just committed the biggest example of the either-or fallacy I have ever Well, well just, just go over to their, their page and read it, okay? That's what I just did. I don't see anything about it there. You don't see anything. Hear me. Okay, well, maybe they took it down then. I'm sorry. Maybe they took it down. I don't know. Or maybe that was only in your timeline. Yeah, or, or, maybe, well, yeah or, maybe it, or maybe it just doesn't fucking exist. No, it was there. Too many people talking about it. It was It was there. But yeah, they, the uh, people, the people, people. They probably no. They probably just took it down. God damn. They're not capable of taking yeah. something off their website. Yeah, the people that are yeah. talking about it yeah. are people called end time watchers. Um, the Armageddon Times. People on Quora. Uh, these Christian Times. So 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 so. Nothing so, that are talking so, about. So. 
If they're getting it from CERN's own website, why is that a problem? Uh, what do you mean they're getting it? Well, you're, you're making the implication that, oh, it's conspiracy websites and religious websites, therefore it's not, it's not factual. No, well, it because they're like getting it. it from CERN's own website, so why is that a problem? What, where, who's talking about it? Who's talking about it is irrelevant. As long as they source CERN as the primary source, it doesn't matter what website's talking about it. That's irrelevant. Um, if, okay, if, the, if, the, if it's only religious people and websites that are using CERN as a source for this hell thing, then the simpler explanation is that they're using it to back up their end times conspiracy, uh, you know, of hobnobbery for the sake of uh, getting funded. But, from if it's still, but if it's still sourced at CERN's own website, then it's still relevant. I mean, I, for, for example, I mean, we, we, we went at this for like, 15, 20 minutes, right, about you talking about how uh, they're trying to create a portal to hell, and we've, um, you know, the skeptics in the room have pretty much have uh, pointed out that these people are, are scientists. They're not they're not interested in any of this supernatural, uh, like, mumbo-jumbo. They're interested in well, what they can actually see. Okay, in well, all right. Well, so, now, wait a minute. So I think, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm literally almost done. I'm literally almost done. So I think the simpler explanation of what we're dealing with here is that there are a lot of people who are um, who are excited and a little paranoid and uh, coming up with their own misinterpretations. In there are misinterpretations about the material, but uh, but yeah, they, they just don't get that this is just um, these are just experiments. They're not they're not trying to investigate no uh, no supernatural stuff like that. Really, so, uh, really. Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, then why why did they why did they spend all that money and all that energy and all that effort? to find a particle of absolute perfection. Because that's what Higgs boson is. It's a it's a particle of absolute perfection. In other well, words exactly, no. in other words, it's a particle in other it's words the property of it could be construed things. it could be construed as proof of a deity. Could it not? No. I mean isn't not. it called isn't it called the God particle? Yeah. Yeah, you see, that's actually a misnomer. I'm sure in the entire book about this, Vaughn. It's a misnomer. They originally wanted it's to call it the God down particle because oh, it's so hard to find. Okay, okay. everybody, uh, for the last 10 years discussing this damn thing, they were all lying, right? Oh, give me a break. It's just, it's not taken literally. Break. Give me a that's break. just nonsense. It's not literally a God particle, you loon. No. But it represents absolute perfection. And no, what is a deity? What is a deity? It's a fucking particle that can first pass That's to other particles. What part of that implies perfection? Um, All right, you're not getting this. You're, not, you're, you're, not, you're, not, you're absolutely research. not getting the correlation at all. So I'm not even going to bother. Do you think so, he, might, he, may, he might be a globalist, Vaughn? I'm not so, going to bother. Um, so, Vaughn, why, why, have, why have you been transferred from realities then? What is it that's somehow selected you and these other people? Why were they chosen by this process? I don't know. I don't know. So, is there no idea? Does none of the none of your millions of Mandelaists have any idea at all? No no idea. He's shaking his head. If we if we knew the answer to that, we might be able to get back home. Don't you think? I just want to go home. Yeah, I do actually. Yeah, I do actually. Yeah, I do actually. I mean, aren't you at your home? This, uh, this, this reality isn't my reality. No fucking Show way. Show me the way to go. Okay. I'm not sure any reality is your reality anymore. To be fair, there may be some relevance still to some hell sorts of texts as you had in the 14th century Inferno written by Come Allegheny. Hillary has her hand up. Hillary? Hi, Vaughn. Oh. Hi, Hillary. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing fine. Uh, what's on your mind? Um, I'm just really interested in what your definition of reality is. I haven't gotten that far yet. <laughs> see, <laughs> me, see, me in about, see me in about 30 years, okay? And then I'll, then I'll well, figure well, it all out, yeah. right? That, that's what I thought. So then, then I think it's really weird for you to dictate to other people what reality actually is when you don't dictating. have a definition whoa, no, whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, stop, stop. I'm not dictating to anybody anything. In fact, if you recall, the very first words out of my mouth were, nobody's wrong here. Isn't that what I said? Yeah. Okay, okay. that's true. All right. That's true. So, 
All right. So. But that gave you an excuse to then go on and um, perpetrate this idea that reality can be um, split into different dimensions in I our same that time Michio frame. Kaku said it. Michio Kaku said that. Not Von Helden. Michio Kaku said that. And he's not the only one that said it. There are many other scientists and theorists that have said it. Okay. Well, the and multiverse. Clearly, the multiverse. Clearly you, clearly, you agree. You agree with that standpoint that there I are agree. many. I, I I agree that that something has occurred. Okay, that's what. Okay, I what what is what is that something? Well, I don't know yet. I'm still figuring it out. I'm still trying to figure it out. Well, but, why are, but there are, are too you, many of us? You know what? You know what? No, just hold on. Please don't interrupt me because because this is really important. Okay. Um, how you process information, how the human brain processes information, is through a certain lens, mm -hmm. and it seems like. The lens that you have chosen is that that everything is fungible, basically. That that reality can change depending on how you happen to feel at any given moment. No, that's not what I said at all. That's not. Okay, what I said then 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 please give me a clearer vision because that's how it's coming across. Give me a Your clearer reality. vision. Your reality is yours. It is yours. It's absolute. It exists. It is yours. My reality is mine. It exists. It is. It is absolute. It is mine. I never said no, nothing no, about there, fungibility. No, no, no. Your subjective reality is not absolute. When you start using words like absolute, that means that brings in the you know the nasty little word objective, right? But your reality has okay. My reality to me is real. Your reality to you is real. Okay? And I've never said anything different. Well, but I'm that's why I'm asking for your definition of reality because because you're stating what I think my reality is and you're stating what you think your no, reality is, but you I'm refuse doing. to define it. That's not what I'm doing at all. I did not say that your reality was wrong. I didn't say that no, my reality no, was wrong. No, and I'm not claiming that you said that my reality was wrong. Is that that this is this is where you're not understanding um, what the the meaning of the word reality is is that you see it as a fungible do you, do you know what that word means fungible well give me, give me your definition of what a reality is then, because I'm you lost me because I I never made any any such claim but whatever. Okay, well, I have a very specific definition of reality. It is what is objectively true. That means that you get a bunch of people, you know, together, which, of course, I accept, is essentially a bunch of numbers of subjective perceptions coming together to agree as to what is objectively true. Um, but that, I, I have a very high bar for what I consider to be reality. My perception, I don't consider to be reality. I consider that to be my perception going through the lens of what this biological body has experienced over 53 years. So I understand that that is my subjective understanding of reality. Um, and I have Asperger's, so um, I'm autistic, mm -hmm. and that means that I have had to, over the decades, learn what other people's definitions of reality are, especially when it comes to social interactions, because I had absolutely no clue. Mm -hmm. It's like, I, I, I don't run on intuition, I don't run on just the given way that everything is done, that everybody understands. It's like that doesn't make sense to me and it never did make sense to me. So I've had to separate things from my subjective perception of the reality that I am dealing with and trying to, if, if I want to have any association with other people at all, I have to try to understand how they perceive things. 
And there are loads of autistic people who just don't bother to do that. They mm -hmm. just say, it's like, okay, I don't see things the same way that you do, so fuck you, I'm off in my own little world and groovy, groovy, groovy. And that's fine for those people who make that choice. And they, they go off and they live in their own brain, and I'm not judging them for doing that. I totally understand why they're doing that. But I am an autistic afflicted with an extrovert personality. So it's like I need to understand what what other people are doing and why they're doing it. Okay. All right. Well, let me let me back the train up then and try to bring you up to speed. Okay. All right. Basically, what it is, there are millions of us. Yes, millions. I know people in the room don't agree, but there are millions of us all over the globe that remember certain events, historical events happening. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we know we know for a fact it happened because it was pounded into our heads, or we saw it on the news consistently. Okay, for example, the the namesake of how this shit all got started, Nelson Mandela. Yeah, right? Mandela. Mandela. Yeah. All right, right. Mandela died in prison. Okay, there are he millions didn't. of us all over the world. Well, <laughs> in your reality, no, he didn't. But in ours, he did. In fact, in our reality, is actually better. Because from what I understand, in your reality, he lived, became president of South Africa, and started abusing the white folk that abused him or that or something to that effect. Okay? That's uh, my no, no, that, 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 that is not my reality. That is not my reality. That's no. what I heard happen. That's what I heard happen. I heard that whites in South Africa had to live behind barbed wire fences, fearing for their lives. That's what I've heard. Okay, well, well, you, well, you, heard, you heard, heard lies. lies. That's not you, true. That didn't you, happen. You heard lies. Please, please give me some room to talk Vaughn through this. Go ahead. I know that a lot of people want to jump jump into this, but you know it's not going to take me long. I'm not going to be here okay. forever. But I want to walk Vaughn through this. Oh no, we're enjoying this, Hillary. We're really enjoying it. You keep okay. going. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah. And just so that everybody knows. Um, I have a particular problem with being interrupted. It just it throws me. I don't deal with it very well. It's a character flaw of mine. I understand it. But if if um, people around can be a little bit kind just, just, just and go not ahead. interrupt me, just, just go ahead. We won't interrupt. You. All, all right. Thank you. So yes, this Mandela effect. Um, uh, uh, I read Berenstain Bears to my son in the early 90s, and all of the books said Berenstain, not Berenstein. And I also know how the human brain works. It works by trying to transfer things into something that is, that is outside of the norm into something that is inside of the norm. So when some, so I can understand how someone would look at Berenstain and say, "Oh, they mean Berenstein because that is a more familiar name to me." So don't you think that that's the more likely explanation? No. Is that there were a bunch of people who? No. No. No, and I'll tell you why. Because we actually used to get into arguments about it. Because we, we didn't know which way to properly pronounce it. Is it pronounced? Do you, do you have a copy? Do you have a copy of a book that says Berenstain? No. Or all no, copies. no. I'm sorry. That says Berenstein as no. opposed to Berenstain. No. All so, copies, so are, all so are you saying? Things. So are you saying that this you know CERN you know time shift or reality shift actually went to all of the physical books? That are everything, in this planet got, yes. and changed when, the spelling of it. That, that's your claim. Got, everything once the merger occurred, once the merger occurred, or once we were pulled from our reality to this one, yes, everything was changed because okay, this when, reality, when did that happen? This, I don't know, sometime in early sixteen, I think. I'm not really sure. <laughs> I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. Why? Why is that funny? Why is that so funny? <laughs> okay, so so sometime in the past year, Somewhere CERN, 
CERN went in and physically changed the the titles of books. No. Of of oh. the Berenstain Bears, for God's sake. No, no, they didn't. Like, don't don't you think that if CERN had that power, they would have been able to like eradicate poverty and eradicate starving children. No, they went after one particular child. No. no child no, book. No, no. Say, no. It's like, yeah, we're totally fucking with your reality with no, the Berenstain no. Bears. No. Like, what? What is the? What is the motivation? What is the motivation for CERN to change the fucking author spelling in a child's book? What is the motivation? It isn't just Berenstain Bears. It's a whole lot of things. What what are these other things? Uh, well, like I said, um, well, Mike Mandela, Tyson, yeah, Mike we know Tyson, Mandela. Mandela, but David I'm, you no, know, how old are you, Vaughn? Vaughn, how I'm old are you? 52. I'm fifty-two. I'm fifty-three. Okay, I'll be I'm fifty-three. I'm older than you are. I'll be fifty-three this October. I'll be fifty-four in October. I will kill myself if we have the same birthday. When's your birthday? October twenty-fourth. Oh, twenty-fifth. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so I yeah, just. Yeah, I'm right and you're wrong. So there we go. That solves it. <laughs> okay, okay. So we have both been exposed to the same cultural shit. Okay, you're not talking to a 24-year-old chick who has no idea what's been going on. Right. We grew amazing. up with Nixon. We grew up it, with JFK. Yes, but the difference is right. But the difference is you are a native of this timeline of this reality. Okay, look, you got a timeline going across here, right? Okay, uh -huh. tangents. A tangent takes place, and then suddenly now you're down here on this timeline. It's it. It's not to say this timeline doesn't exist. But you took a tangent, or I took a tangent. In fact, in, in my case, well, it's no, I took but, a tangent. But time is, Your timeline time is up here. No, listen, listen, listen. Time is universal to that particular uh, dimension. So basically, what you're trying to say is that you are living in one dimension, and I'm living in a completely different dimension of the same universe, and that is physically impossible. And they cross somehow. No, no, it's not I'm somehow. Even even quantum physics says yes, there are other dimensions. So I understand how you get this idea that no. there are other dimensions. Right. You're right. perfectly valid in that understanding, but what you're not valid in is saying that under the same physical laws and under the same laws of time in one certain dimension that that it crosses. That that doesn't happen. That is physically impossible. Yes, there are other laws that can be followed in other dimensions, but the two dimensions cannot ex coexist at the same time. Well, here's the thing. You're uh -huh. saying that they do, and you're pulling out a bunch of new age crap that no, claims see, that, that it does because age. because they don't no, understand no, 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 cosmology. Okay, stop, 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 because the new age is insulting to a true pagan. Okay, so don't do that, please. All right, I am not. I didn't new age. mean to insult you. I am merely pointing out the fact that that dimensional laws change according to that dimension. They do not cross. Exactly. And if you can, it, Exactly, which is why when I got pulled here, all of the shit that I knew... What do you mean true, here? You're in the same dimension that I'm in. I'm We're in, in the same reality. fucking G this plus is hangout. This is not my you reality. Idiot. When I look up in the night sky and I see the Orion's belt as big as fucking life when it's supposed to be a little tiny speck, yeah, that's wrong. That's wrong. I'm sorry, it's wrong. <laughs> When I look and I can see the center, I can see the center of the galaxy in the night sky. I shouldn't be able to see that. I used to not be able to see that in the night sky. That's you wrong. didn't look. The polaris, the polaris star is so fucking huge in your. You sky. didn't look. You haven't it's been paying attention to the sky. You know what? I this paid. Ex of... Listen, listen, listen. Stop. I paid excruciating attention. To detail when I went to planetariums in the 60s and the 70s mm -hmm. and the night sky looks exactly the same way 
as it did in the 60s. Orion's belt is not bigger or smaller now. It's the same because fucking sky. Because your this is your reality. Your perception of that sky has changed. Oh, come on. And, oh, come and this brings me to my other point. Did hey, or did not, sorry. listen, listen, did or did not the state of Kentucky believe that you are a schizophrenic? No, that's a lie. That's a lie. You, showed, you showed a document, a piece of paper, probably about, about three, about three to wife. four years ago. That was about my wife, not me. That was no, about, it was about you. No, it was about my wife. It was about you. No, it was about my wife. My wife, my wife is documented schizophrenic. She's in the crazy house right now. It is not about me. Has never been about me. Okay, nope, well, I, 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 to prove you wrong, I will have to go back three years because you actually held up a piece of paper saying that the state well, of I've Kentucky believed of that you may be schizophrenic. I've been accused of it. Yeah, that's true. Because of, I've got legions of haters out there that accuse me of everything under the sun. Oh, but make okay, it no, I, I am not, I am not, and I have never said that the state of Kentucky has diagnosed you as being schizophrenic. I have only said that you presented paperwork that said that the state of Kentucky believes that you are probably schizophrenic. Well, I'm not. And I've passed and all my psyche valves. So I am not. I am not a doctor. I am not diagnosing you and saying that you are schizophrenic. I passed what I am all saying, psyche valves. What, what I am okay. What I am saying is that I understand how the state of Kentucky could be convinced that you are possibly schizophrenic based on your continual break with reality. And you are very proud of your break with reality. That sets you apart. You know, you're, you are an, an unemployed, undereducated person living in your mother's trailer in Kentucky. So, so I can see why you would need to, you know, bolster your, your ego. So you say shit that just makes no sense, like you, I don't know, you know, flipped a groundhog with, with the force, and that you're the punisher, and that you helped in designing, you know, the stealth thing. I can understand why you want to do that, because you're in a particularly, you know, sad situation, and you're clearly an intelligent person. So, so, so you want to prove that you're an intelligent person by, you know, exaggerating and, and twisting information, you know, in a certain way. And every once in a while, just overtly lying. I understand why you would want to do that because, you know, if I were you, I'm not saying that I wouldn't do the same thing, although it would go against my grain because just lying and making shit up just isn't an autistic quality. But but I still can put myself in your shoes and understand why why you would want to do that. But what but what I'm saying is is when it goes to the extreme of you actually saying that your reality is different than my reality on a dimensional scale where laws of time and physics go out the window, that's, that's when you make yourself inaccessible to other people. And I think that your goal is to make yourself accessible to other people because I think that you want to be liked. I think that you want to be accepted in the larger, you know, society. So because I agree with Michio Kaku and some of these other theorists, I'm a crazy person.
So they made any headway with Vaughn about the uh about she the lost connection. Okay. Hmm. See, this is why you shouldn't have hate videos out there about anybody. Because now look at this person. She went and watched a bunch of fucking hate videos and it's took it as gospel and then comes in here and confronts me over it. Okay? This is why these motherfuckers need to get their channels shut down. Because they're taking people like this and you heard her say she was autistic. Okay? They take vulnerable people like this, they manipulate them, get them to hating me, and now she thinks I'm some kind of fucking nut. Okay? This is why I'm going to systematically go over all these haters of mine, and I'm going to get their fucking channel shut down. Okay. I didn't get the feeling she hated me at all. No, not in the slightest. Not in the slightest. I got, I got the feeling she's been um, following you for a while. Uh, and of course, no, your your no your simple hang on, hang on. Your simple answer, of course, could be that um, following you for a while was following your previous timeline or something, and so you've got no memory of it. Um, but she did come out with quite a few um, specifics, and I don't think she was trying to hate you at all. I think she was trying to get to the bottom of some things and try to understand you. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think, I th yeah, just 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 to just to point out, I think it, I think the safe the safest bet here is that she's just expressing some mild skepticism towards your towards your, the claims you've made. No, she is parroting hate videos on YouTube. That's exactly what she did. Mm, that that's weird, considering the fact that I, I mean, for the most part, she hasn't really mentioned any hate videos. I mean, all she's did is mention uh, mention that. Uh, she's skeptical of what you've said about about no, Sarah no. about what, whatever, whatever, dude, whatever. Yeah. Uh, when somebody comes in here and they spew the exact words off of fucking hate videos, I think it's pretty obvious. Okay. I think you're getting very defensive there, Bob. Am, am I wrong, Hillary? Have you not been watching my haters' videos out there? Videos that hate on me? Is that what you've been watching? Who are you there? Oh, somebody's got a broadcaster, apparently. Actually, hung about pay attention. Uh, shit. I think I'm... Well, you're robotic. you got to reload. I think I'm... Breaking up. Yes, you are. You're breaking up. <laughs> You've got to reload. But no, I mean, everything that, that, that she spoke of here just recently, those are all hate videos out on YouTube. Okay? So she's basically parroting what the haters are saying. That's not me. You know? If she had went to my YouTube page and was talking about shit that I was discussing in my videos, that would be one thing, but that ain't what she did. She went and parroted a bunch of hate videos about me, and I know my haters because I've seen all their videos. I've watched what they say about me. I know what they say about me. All right, It's not, it's not like I'm, I'm dumb and stupid and don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm, I've been around this block about 15 years now. I know exactly what my haters are doing. Don't you think that it's a bit narcissistic to say that because you have some people that disagree with you online that apparently that the only way someone can disagree with you is if they ha is if they hate you? Because I don't hate you. I mean, I've disagreed with what you said. I don't hate you. I just think you're I just think you're bad shit. Well, saying that I'm and you crazy. have a fundamental lack of understanding of theoretical Yeah, but now wait a minute. Saying that I'm crazy. Or saying that I'm mentally uh, handicapped in some way, what does that do for my kids? Oh, it gets my kids taken away from me now, doesn't it? So uh, yeah, you I'm are. Not, yeah, you I'm are a threat. No, I, no. When I, I, you no, when you get on a public forum that is literally going all over the world and you know about that I'm crazy, or that I'm nuts, or that kids? I'm this, or that I'm that, you're basically putting my children at risk. 
it's how the fuck? Much. How the fuck do we know because anything? We're going to sit there and say, "Oh, these are, these people are saying Von oh, Hilton's no, nuts. No, Let's no, go no. out to his house and take his kids away, so that he's got to go to court and fight him in court to get his okay. damn kids back." All right, all right, all right. Boo, boo, freaking who? Who said anything about your freaking kids? Who said anything about the? We're, we're talking about, it's about the common sense. It's called shit. common sense. Okay. The, the idea is let's yeah. let's disparage the man. Let's get uh, the man crazy. The let's let's claim he's crazy. Let's make him up to hate channel. videos about it, and then we'll call CPS and show him the hate videos. And so that they got to go oh, out to his man. house. You and think people do that much of a fuck about YouTube? You know Jesus. how I know because it's already happened five wow. times. It's already happened five times. Okay, so don't tell me that shit don't happen because it's already happened five times. I've had to go to court five times to get my kids back yeah. over this bullshit. No, no one is yeah, okay. Okay. No one here has mentioned that at all. We just think you're bad shit about the fucking CERN thing and the Mandel effect thing. Okay? I will say, no, no I think he's asking interesting, interesting questions. Because... That Sorry, Wolf, but, I mean, that's fine to be critical. I'm a skeptic as well, but I read Parallel Worlds when it came out by Kaku, and I do think there's room for questions about deeper things that are hard to get purchase on, admittedly, intrinsically, because... These are perhaps metaphysical. So that's the most I'll say to he doesn't need my defense or anything, but I mean I'm I'm aware of the particle phys uh, yeah, I'm aware of the uh, particle physicist um Michio Kaku, but I Same, doubt so am I. I think he is as well. I mean we're all aware of many not... concepts there. But okay, it's, yeah, dude, sounds like you're wiping him off the whole finish, please? Can I finish, please? By all I'm means, all... yeah. Oh yeah, I'm am aware of the guy, and I'm aware of his work, and sure, it's, uh, that that's plausible. However, I failed. I, I I'm pretty sure the guy would disagree with the, with Vaughn being a time traveler from a distant uh from the distant past or future, where the fuck uh, he claims to be from. Uh, it's not time travel, damn. And there you have it, folks. The old wimpy, weak Von Helden gone, replaced by the brave hero Von Helden that we all know and love. Thanks to CERN, bringing him here from another dimension and another reality. Until next time, folks, goodbye.